And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Monolophosaurus, which appears in the Jurassic World game as well as toys. Cool. <laughs> so it appears in Jurassic Park 3, the park builder game, as well as Jurassic World, the game. It wasn't originally in that game, but it was added in August 2015, and you can unlock it in the level 55 battle area. Jurassic World, the game. Oh, that's that iPad game where you like get all the dinosaurs in your park. That must be the one. If it's the level 55 battle area. I think I remember you battling in different levels, right? I think there's a few of those types of games, but yeah. I think that's the one. Yeah. It's also going to be in the game Jurassic World Alive. Cool. So many games. I guess I'm going to have to get that game too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Monolophosaurus was a tetanurin theropod that lived in the Jurassic in what is now Xinjiang, China, in the Shishogo Formation. The type species, and only species, is Monolophosaurus jiangai, and they found a nearly complete skeleton back in 1981 on a Canadian-Chinese expedition. It took three years to excavate. Oof. Yeah. It was referred in the media in 1987 as Jianjun before it was officially described, and that was an invalid nomum nudum, which is a naked name. Yeah, because it wasn't associated with a real description, just sort of thrown out there. <laughs> yeah. Dong Xingming mentioned it as Monolophosaurus Jiangjun Miaoai in 1992, and Wayne Grady mentioned it as Monolophosaurus Dongai in 1993, but there was no description, so these are also nomina nuda. It was officially described in 1993-1994 by Zhao Shijing and Philip Curry and named Monolophosaurus jiangai. The genus name means single crested lizard. It had one crest on top of its skull. As opposed to Dilophosaurus, which means two crested lizard. Yep. <laughs> and the species name refers to Jiangju Miao, which is an abandoned desert inn near where the specimen was found. And it means the Temple of the General, and there's a local legend that a general was buried there. The holotype consists of a skull, lower jaws, vertebral column, and pelvis, and it's either of an adult or subadult. It was about 16.4 feet or 5 meters long and weighed 1,500 pounds or 680 kilograms, though Gregory Paul estimated in 2010 that it was about 18 feet or 5.5 meters and weighed about 1,050 pounds or about 475 kilograms. The type specimen was restored with plaster so that it could be part of a traveling exhibit, and the left side, unfortunately, is now in foam, which has made additional examination of the fossil kind of difficult. Steve Brousset published two studies in 2010 though redescribing the holotype, which was still the only known specimen at the time. So as I mentioned, it had one crest on top of its head, and this crest was hollow to save weight and may have been for display. The crest runs from the tip of the snout, the premaxilla, to over the nasal and towards the eyes, about three quarters the skull length, and it's largely formed by nasal bones. It has a broad base and narrow top with a flat upper surface. The nasal bone had a lot of holes with large air chambers, and the nasal crest was rough with a lot of bosses. So a very different crest than you see on Dilophosaurus. <laughs> yes, definitely. It also had a smaller horn behind the eye socket. It's not clear how long... Monolophosaurus's tail was because that wasn't found but the base of the tail faces slightly downwards and the type specimen had a pathology the 10th and 11th neural spines were fractured and fused together so Thomas Carr suggested in 2006 that Guanlong which is a theropod from the same formation with a crest was actually a subadult Monolophosaurus and in 2010 Gregory Paul renamed Guanlong as a second species of Monolophosaurus Monolophosaurus wutsai but in 2010, Stephen Brousset rejected this and said that the Guanlong holotype was an adult, not a subadult. Originally, Monolophosaurus was thought to be a megalosaur and was often thought to be an allosauroid, though now it's thought to be tetanurin. And it was thought to be most closely related to Tuan Dongosaurus, another tetanurin that lived in the Jurassic in China. And just as a quick reminder, tetanurins are stiff-tailed theropods. They have straight tails that had a series of tendons. 